That's how with these to get my mind right. It's crazy, my own homies hating, cause I'm almost in that limelight. Growing up, not having shit made me grind. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Tab back with another react. Well, yeah, it's a reaction video. So, we're actually finna react to Bristol, Los Really? Bristol, Los California. Let's get into it, man. Hold on. Oh, I want to. I want to. Hold on, bro. You talking? I want to react to that too, but uh, y'all let me know if y'all want to react to Really, a superstar in the making. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like he embodied like the like Mac Dre energy, but like yeah. in a new See way. Like about. the dance moves. Like he, he was just smooth as fuck, bro. And I'm like, yes, sir, when Briss, Be on the lookout for a stream tomorrow. Die, you know what I'm saying? You know, that shit was all over the Around internet. That shit was fucked up, but niggas know. You know what I'm saying? He was probably next to go. Let me start off with. Briss wasn't scared to reach out and collab with unknown people. I don't know what it was, but it seemed that Briss always somehow found unknown people with extreme amounts of talent. Look at him and the EBK crowd working together for a long time, grinding it off together. While Briss definitely didn't collab with SAC artists, he just didn't care when it came to collabing with people outside the city. He really put on a lot of people from Sloby, Susie Made It, EBK Hot Boys, and G-Man. The amount of love he had in turn was unmeasurable from those artists. I didn't know he put on G Man. I didn't know he put on Young Sloby either. Or EBK High Boys. Sloby had commented on his death stating, Thought I could hold back and say, Fuck all that clout chasing. But I lied. Gangsters do cry. You hurt the Southeast with this one. You know how me and the EBK Hot Boys rock for you. It was vice versa. 2142 ain't a gang. We a family. It's forever up. Rest up, low bro. And he was pictured with the EBK crowd in Bruce's hood after he had passed to share condolences. <laughs> Susie, who wait, did wait, the wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait, where is Young Sloby from, bro? I thought he's I thought he's from the same little Susie, area. Who did the you know Hammy video for Briss made a comment when Briss passed saying, "Congrats on five million. I owe so much to this one." Briss was solid through and through, and wasn't scared to put on for other people. I don't know if you guys know this, but someone like this in NorCal, working with other artists in NorCal, is such a rare sight. Normally people just interact with their city a little bit, but not really other cities like that. Briss was trying to make a change wholeheartedly since he started popping off. Another thing Briss brought to SAC was ushering in a new wave beats hitting NorCal and with a new style. It's hard to describe it, but it was like across a SAC and bay with a bit of SoCal sprinkle with the use of claps and a looping instrument. The 808s Briss picked it sounded musty and infectious. It was reminiscent of some of the modern Bay Area beats people like Mike Sherman would use. I ain't gonna lie, I do sound like he reading off a script. I don't blame him, though. While his rapping style <laughs> near the end of his rap career was very reminiscent of Draco, I would say he had his own style completely. To his flow and his use of muttering mixed with rapping normally. Another thing about his style as well, other rappers were scared to do their little dance in their videos, but Briss was always doing something in his videos just trying to have fun. Like, come on. Mac Dre taught you guys, it's not soft to dance. Just do it and have some fun in your videos. Talking about the beats. Mozzie already stole the sound from Briss after his passing and never gave him a bit of credit. Give it a listen. He said he stole. How? I don't... Hold on. I compare this to Need Hammy. She don't make us fight, I got a mean grab. I can never slip on like a clone I can't do that. Now I turn this bitch up. It does sound similar to that. You had that phone for a minute. This is something like that. That song, man, I remember when it went. Ooh, I remember when I first reacted to that. Bro, that's how it's on top, bro. Wow, that's shame right there. I didn't even know that was shame. And this ocean need a vest and some stupid things. The beats always Man, kept a certain bro. distinct, ominous sound that Sparky, True the Plug, and Armani helped innovate. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, though. Briss and his friends slip and slide over the beats with style. People constantly commend Mozzie for bringing in sample-driven beats to sack. 
My question is, though, is where is the love for the fully unique sound to sack ushered in by Briss? Nobody wants to hear Uzzy Marcus with his list caused by his ugly-ass teeth diss people for the hundredth time on a sample beat for the third year in a row. To me, it's kind of sad. The man who innovated something in your city gets no love and is just another name people diss. Briss was such a talented person. Seemed to have found a sound after a couple years grinding out doing some Man, is this stuff. one of my subscribers, bro? His sound seemed to be found after the 1042 out, tape he dropped with G-Man, which I bump crazy personally. He'd obviously time. been influenced by Draco a bit when speaking about flu flaming and having me and greets if you catch my drift. He as well flipped the pippy long stocking thing Draco had been saying beforehand on the track Bling Ling. This leads into my next point about the potential brisk could have hit. Going full circle to my first point, I want to state that Briss was blowing up at the time of his death. Already a lot of rappers were already messing with him. Even when he passed, he flew him crazy. But without a doubt in my mind, if he grinded it for another year, he could have been at where he is at now, views-wise. Rappers who fucked with him were, most notably, MB Now, Phoenix Flexen, Lil Pete, CML, Slimmy B, Filthy Rich, KT Foreign, Draco, and Bounce Back Meek. The list can actually keep going on, but I'd rather keep the video short for you guys. Even Uzzy Mark and his crew were obviously bumping Briss Heavy before his death, even if they don't admit it. Uzzy had hopped on live with a friend dissing Briss after his death, and it seemed his homie and him were mouthing some of the lyrics. <laughs> Hey man, whoever just made whoever made this video, I'm letting you know now, bro. They wasn't doing this because they liked the song. They was doing this to, you know what I'm saying? They making they making fun of it, G. They, that's why they did that, bro. They like mimicking them. That's all they doing, bro. <laughs> I can't even tell you how hot bro was in his section. Filthy even reached out to him, even though Sack was a hectic experience for him and brought him out to his hood. This isn't a small feat at all. It sincerely felt filthy really messed with him. It shows he was just starting to hit if Phil would do that even after the Mozzie CML situation. And another person who is not a rapper, Jeff Weiss, was also keeping his eyes on him. If you don't know, Jeff Weiss, he's a journalist who covers rap. That's besides the point. The real thing about Weiss is that he has a lot of good connections. He was seeking to link up Briss and Draco before Briss had passed. At that time, Draco had been releasing remixes to his top songs with Star Studded Cast while he was down in jail. People featured on some of those were Danny Brown, Lil Yachty, Earl Sweatshirt, GP Rico, and Bravo the Bag Chaser. Another market he definitely could have hit right on the spot instantly. Jeff said they didn't get a chance to put him on because Bruce went down the time he was going to put him on. I don't know if you guys know this, but this would be such an amazing look for him. If you kept it pushing after you got out and survived longer, without a doubt in my mind, you could have got the Draco feature. Look at how much fame Draco acquired after jail. He basically did, though, with that one song. As well as that, Draco really messed with his music. They could have easily done a crazy tape together. Especially Draco is messing with all of Bruce's friends currently. There would have been so much heat coming out. Think about it. He would have been such a big thing to come out of California in general, seeing he would have the NorCal love, and the SoCal love, especially who's trending with the nonchalant delivery that the likes of Draco and Blue Bucks clan are popping with now. But his expertise was delivering like that with a unique flow, and he had memorable, unique lyrics. The craziest part is he didn't even write, he just freestyled off top. Somebody else who had done exactly what I just spoke about was Rio de Young OG, and I know many people who had figured out about him after that song he did on the free Draco tape, and thank you for using GZL1. Imagine if Briss established that connection to SoCal. Personally, I think he could have hit harder than Mozzie did when he started popping with how much he was down at Glob and put on. He easily could have been the biggest independent rapper out in NorCal, surpassing Mozzie with label heads. Imagine if he popped like he did after his death. Those label heads would definitely put their focus on SAG, maybe even NorCal in general too. Briss was just getting started. Sad that he went out like he did. Rip Briss, support his cousin Mac J. He's hard and he's helping out Briss's family with the money he's getting. That's what's up. Hey, that's a cool little video, though, man. What y'all think, man? Y'all let me know what y'all thought in the comments, bro. I just wanted to see what he was going to say. Because that's the first time I've ever seen a video like, like that. But, um...
But yeah, we're gonna end it like that. I don't wanna make the videos too long either myself. Y'all let me know what y'all thought in the comments. Let me know what's fact, what's cap in the comments. If you only look and we out. Why they do that? We out. And I, so I keep my eye tight This what they been waiting for But the wait is over You better ask about the snoop, bitch, I'm taking over I put my city on my back like my polo